Hi everyone, so today I want to show you my skincare routine. This is a highly requested video. A lot of people want to know what I've been using on my skin lately. I have not been breaking out. It has made me very happy. Uh, a little bit about my skin. I'm in my late 20s. I have combination skin. I'm very sensitive and I am very pale. So I am very careful around the sun and um, I love skincare products and facials and all those kinds of things. So I thought I'd jump right in and show you my skincare routine. Morning and night I do sort of the same thing except obviously I don't use a makeup remover in the morning. Uh, my makeup remover that I use at night is Green Clean. This is by the company Pharmacy. You can get this at Sephora, that's where I buy it. And it's a makeup melt away cleansing balm and you get a little spatula with it and you just take out like a pea sized amount and it's green. It smells like a lime or like limeade drink. <laughs> I really like it. And uh, you just need a tiny, tiny bit. I've already been using this for probably two full months, two and a half months, and I haven't even really made a dent in it. So it lasts a long time. It's not too expensive at Sephora. And I love this. I will repurchase it when I do run out. You take a little bit of this, you rub it between your hands, just a pea-sized amount. It becomes like a, almost like an oil, but not really. It's a balm. You rub it all over your face and all your makeup washes right off with it. The next thing that I do is I use the Caudalie uh, Instant Foaming Cleanser, the moisturizing uh, grape and purifying sage it has in it. I love this. You shake it. I use one pump on my hand. It comes out in a beautiful foam. It smells like you're at the most luxurious spa ever. <laughs> and I just use the one pump to wash my face. This I do morning and night. The next thing that I do is not really a toner, but I sort of use it like a toner. And it is the Beauty Elixir by Caudalie. I've used this many times. You can see I'm almost out and I already have purchased a backup. Well, I did with my gift cards at Christmas time. And so it's in my medicine cabinet, but you just shake it up. I usually do three spritzes, one down each side of my face and the center, and then I move on to the next step. And again, I use this morning and night. The next thing that I do both morning and night is my essence, and this is the Essence by Tatcha. This brand, I also purchased all of these things so far, I think, yeah, I get from Sephora. Um, and this is the Essence by Tatcha. I've already been using this for two and a half months. I bought this at the Sephora um, sale back in November and you can see that I've barely put a dent in it. Like it's maybe this much, so maybe like one fifth or something. So this is expensive but it lasts a long time and I use it morning and night. I use about two to three drops. It comes out in this really interesting a little dropper so it doesn't pour out like tons of liquid it's really careful which is nice because it's expensive and this is a plump plumping <laughs> I was gonna say plumping plumping skin softener and it also has an anti-aging complex in it and this is really nice it helps all your products after this absorb more and it also helps soften your skin and I love this after I do that essence, then I go in with my serum. Now my serum is really expensive and I really like it. Um, it is the Caudalie Premier Cru Le Serum. It looks like this. It's beautiful. The packaging, it comes in a box like it's like a piece of like Cartier jewelry. It's ridiculous. Um, but it lasts a really long time and it is one full, one fluid ounce and I've been using this again for two and a half, three months almost, and it feels like there's still a lot in there. I'm not sure. We'll wait and see how long it lasts, but I have noticed a difference, and I think um, with this one where I've noticed the difference is, um, you might not have this, but I've noticed myself and a lot of women my age will get this kind of straight line right here, and I don't, I don't think you can see it right now because um, I think it's been fading, but at work there's these dark glass doors and it's they're kind of like a mirror like if you were to like look in your tv or something but i would always see these kind of lines right here and i would look in an actual mirror and i wouldn't see them and i think oh my gosh why do i look so tired in the glass when i see my reflection there and since i've started using this i don't see that in my reflection <laughs> so it's a minor thing most people would think this is not worth it but for me I just feel like anything that can prevent aging at my age now 
is good and totally worth it and I do feel like this part of my cheek like my upper cheek looks a lot more rested and youthful and plumped so I really like this and I think that this is the product that's been doing it um, but this one here before it helps this soak in more so they probably work in tandem really but I do love this this gets amazing reviews um, if you're curious about it I would read reviews on Sephora but this product as well as the Tatcha one um, and the next one that I'm going to show you too all three of them are anti-aging products but they're all part of the clean at Sephora section and all of them in the reviews people say it helped clear their acne and I used to have very mild acne and knock on wood <laughs> it has been clear so I feel really excited I've just got a little bit of like discoloration and scarring from previous acne but since I've been using these products none so I'm gonna stick with it I'm gonna try not to stray and like learn about new things I'm gonna stick with this this skincare regime um, for as long as I I think for the whole year probably so you might not see a new skincare routine from me for a very long time but I love this and I think it is totally worth it the thing I use after that is another ridiculous skincare item that I've been loving and it's another essence but this essence I was told you should use later this one helps things absorb this essence is a bit different it's an anti-aging essence with fermented green tea extract for the skin delivered with the antioxidant power of the single extract formula blah 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 but this one's for anti-aging as well but this one you use after the other ones the serum and the other essence and this is by the company Amore Pacific I might be saying that wrong and it's the vintage single extract essence and I'll link all the products down below because I always hate having to search for things myself it's nice when people link them so I'll make sure to link everything down below this I just use one or two drops on my hand I pat my hands together and I really push it into my face it's the same thing that I do with this one and it, it basically feels like you're putting water on your face but it you can feel like your pores tightening and everything kind of feeling a lot nicer and cooler on your face uh, this product again if you read reviews on Sephora they are amazing and this is one that I really think has helped heal my acne along my jawline so I used to get kind of hormonal little bumps and I don't anymore and I was reading online that a lot of people found that this product actually worked for that. So I really like, now that I'm getting into my late 20s, soon to be early 30s, I'm trying to use products that have that anti-aging complex, but I don't want to use things that have retinols in them or that are really strong because first of all, I am pregnant, so there's a lot of ingredients I need to avoid. And also, I'm young, so if I'm going to use those things now, what am I going to use when I'm into my 40s and 50s? So I think it's kind of nice to stick to the clean at Sephora lines. Really look at your ingredients. Um, don't use any re retinols if you can avoid it because those are going to thin your skin. And if you've got thicker skin, then it's okay, but I'm somebody that's pale, so I already have very thin skin. So I think using more natural things like these is definitely beneficial, and I've noticed a difference for me. Now that's not to say that you can't go to Shoppers Drug Mart and get something for $10 that's going to make your skin feel fabulous. Everybody's skin is different, but this stuff has just been working so well for me. I feel it's worth it for me. Now after my ser my essence, my serum, and my other essence, um, I have been doing treatments. So those I do morning and night along with my eye cream. My eye cream has not changed. It is still the Clinique All About Eyes. Okay. And I love that and it's just a light gel cream and I just put it under my eyes and a tiny bit on the lid whatever I have left over on my finger and then I've been using this and this is a product you get four of these in the box which is good because it keeps it really fresh and it's by the company Paracone MD and it's their vitamin C ester their intensive brightening regime okay and it's a serum concentrate all right and again this is like a kind of lightweight vitamin C it's a little bit of like a cream kind of formula I'd say I just take a pea sized amount and I just put it on my cheeks where I have some discoloration from previous acne and I think it is lightening things um, I really like it it smells like most vitamin C products and I would definitely recommend this I only use it at night though and it does um, 
people say that it can make your skin light sensitive. I always avoid the sun anyways and wear sunscreen, so I was already doing that regime, but if you do add vitamin C to your nighttime skincare, make sure you're wearing sunscreen in the morning. After I'm done all those, I spritz my face again with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, just a little bit, and I throw on my moisturizer, and I use two pumps of this, and it is the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I did a full video on this, and I will link it below as well. I really like this lightweight jelly type moisturizer. I think because my skin is more combination, and I am younger, not young, but younger, <laughs> Um, it's really helpful in just kind of sealing all my serums in, but not in being too heavy that it clogs my pores or anything. Anyways, that is everything I use. I know it's a ton of stuff, um, but I also feel like skincare is really like a self-care thing. And if you enjoy skincare, I think it's kind of nice to treat yourself to maybe some high-end items or some additional steps in your regime because taking care of your skin, if you enjoy it, that is, it's like somebody else doing yoga, you know? So doing those kind of nightly rituals and morning rituals of taking care of your skin and putting on your creams and things can be really nice, not only for you, but also for your mental health. And it's a nice hobby even to have. I was explaining it to my husband when I was thinking about getting this during the Sephora sale. I said to him, it's kind of like your video games. Like, you know how you just love doing it? And it doesn't always make sense, but you love it. And he was like, yeah, it's fun. And I was like, that's what skincare is for me. <laughs> and then he was like, well, then you should get it. <laughs> so I think if you enjoy it and if you have um, the ability to purchase it, I think it's definitely worth it. But I also think that there are many things out there um, at different price points that work as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you like skincare videos. If you have any questions about any of the products I mentioned today and you want to see a full like video on them where I talk about ingredients and um, usage or show you how I use it, please comment down below and let me know and I'll definitely do that. I love skincare. It's like if you asked me what my favorite thing was between makeup, nails, fragrance, hair care, skin care, body care, skin care would definitely be my favorite. I think nails used to be. Um, and there's definitely like still a spot in my heart for nail care products, but I think skincare is definitely my favorite now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you like my videos, please click the subscribe button. I love getting new subscribers and hearing from you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Everything is linked down below. And again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I love chatting with you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.